The Royal Arcade takes us into a shopping area, a very traditional shopping area, uh, as you would expect on a Cunard Queen. This is some 4,000 square feet of uh, shops, all the brand names you would expect on a Cunard Queen, from Harrods to Hermes to Chanel. Uh, and this uh, area will have a magnificent Art Deco sculpture, which you can't see on this uh, particular picture because uh, we're going to unveil that later uh, in the year, but it will be a wonderful tribute to the era of the first Queen Elizabeth. The Britannia restaurant, the grandeur of Cunard Dining at Sea. This magnificent restaurant is a double height space. Uh, it has a unique uh, stairway where ladies can make a grand entrance and the ceiling is a decorative glass backlit panel. We have uh, the cantilevered balconies and this is where our guests, most of our guests, will enjoy breakfast, lunch and dinner. New for Queen Elizabeth is the Britannia Club. This is taken from the concept on the Queen Mary II that has gone down so well with our guests. This is a concept where the guests that stay in the upper balcony staterooms can go and enjoy a club-style restaurant. Uh, this restaurant is uh, a separate uh, room in its own right, beautifully glazed ceiling, sandblasted glass decorative wall down one side, and of course beautiful uh, views out to sea. This is single seating dining, our guests can dine whenever they like. Um, and this is a concept really that was originally born uh, from the Coronia restaurant on QE2. Let's go up to the garden lounge. This is up on deck nine. Uh, this is a, a wonderful room with a unique vaulted glass ceiling. Uh, this is inspired, this ceiling, by the uh, glass houses at Kew Gardens. And with the rich foliage that there will be in this room, along with the rattan furniture, this makes a great British-style conservatory by day. And in the evenings, we're going to uh, bring a, a new concept onto our Cunard uh, ships, which is the Supper Club, something that used to happen on the old Cunard liners, but we, uh, we haven't operated this in more modern times. This is where we have music and we have dancing, and we have a taster menu that goes throughout the evening, so our guests can combine dining, and music and dancing all under the stars of this wonderful roof. That room looks out onto the pavilion pool. This is our central pool area with uh, two whirlpools uh, and also plenty of uh, seating for sunbathing outside. We also have an aft deck with another pool, the Lido pool, and the deck on the aft uh, end of the ship is an extensive deck. It's more extensive than it is on Queen Victoria and we're going to use that to recreate the, uh, the garden party at sea. So if you imagine a country house weekend, the garden party will be uh, out on deck with uh, gentlemen in striped blazers and boaters and we'll have a wonderfully civilised uh, afternoon garden party. Then we head up to the games deck. Uh, this is a new and uh, very uh, unusual uh, games deck. This uh, takes its name again from the original Queen Elizabeth, the area for sports outside. And these games are games that were popular back in the 30s and are still very popular today. So we have traditional British bowls. Uh, we uh, also take uh, this particular sport because uh, actually the home port of this ship, as you know, will be Southampton. And in Southampton is the oldest surviving bowls green in the world, dating from 1299. We also have a, a croquet lawn, so uh, we'll be able to play croquet, as in the best country houses uh, in Britain. And we'll have paddle tennis, which is so popular with our guests. Uh, so we'll have our own mini Wimbledon. Uh, at, uh, at sea. So uh, an unusual games deck but something we think our guests will uh, very much enjoy. And of course no Cunard ship would be complete without its Cunard Royal Spa and Fitness Centre. Uh, this uh, taking up some 10,000 uh, square foot on the ship. Uh, we have the hydro pool that you see here along with uh, treatment rooms, an aerobics area, uh, a fitness centre with a lot of uh, equipment. Each piece of equipment has its own LCD screen so our guests can watch something to take their mind off getting fit. Um, and this really is a wonderful space on board the ship. So what are the accommodation? Well, I mentioned at the beginning that we had 1,046 staterooms and suites on this vessel. 85% uh, of those are outside and 71%, so over two-thirds of the total staterooms and suites will have balcony. 12% uh, of the top of the ship there will be our Queen's and Princess Grill suites, the most uh, luxurious suites at sea. So we'll take a look at some of the accommodation. The shots you'll see are of Queen Victoria, uh, but the layout will be the same on Queen Elizabeth, but the colours, the decor and the artwork will vary. <coughs> so here's a balcony uh, stateroom with its uh, seating area as well as its balcony beyond. 
The Princess Grill, which has a larger seating area uh, as well as the balcony. And then up to the Queen's Grill. And of course, the Queen's Grill are the ultimate suites at sea. These uh, have a butler service uh, along with all the amenities and facilities you would expect of top luxurious suites. And indeed, the top suites, of which this is one, we have six uh, of the uh, top suites, which on this particular vessel we're going to name after the six Cunard Commodores that have been knighted over the years. It's a wonderful fact to be able to claim that six of our Commodores uh, have been knighted by the monarch at the time. And so we will be naming the uh, suites after those people and there will be a photo and a biography of those uh, Commodores in each relevant suite. Here they are, a fine looking group. Uh, and we have people here uh, from the likes of uh, Commodore Sir Arthur Rostrum, who was the captain that took that little ship Carpathia uh, as fast as he possibly could across the ice fields in the dark to rescue all the survivors of Titanic on that fateful night in uh, April 1912. Uh, of course, Titanic was not a Cunard ship. Uh, and then we have uh, Commodore Sir James Bissett. Uh, he was a gentleman that uh, looked uh, very strangely like Winston Churchill in appearance. And he had Winston Churchill on his ship, the original Queen Elizabeth, uh, one year, and he was stopped by an American guest who said, my goodness, you two look as though you could be brothers. And Winston Churchill was quick to respond to say, my goodness, no. He said, I'm merely in charge of the ship of state. This gentleman is in charge of the most uh, wonderful ship afloat. Uh, he also uh, was famous, uh, Commodore Bissett, because he had the uh, dubious honor of bringing back from America the, uh, one of the few copies of the Magna Carta that was sent over to America for safekeeping during the war. And he was so worried about bringing this precious artifact back with him, uh, rather than put it in the ship's safe, he slept with it under his bed. So there are Cunard uh, Commodores and our suites will be named after uh, each of them. As you know, when uh, you stay in a Queen's Grill suite or a Princess Grill suite, uh, one uh, dines in the Queen's Grill and Princess Grill restaurants. And on this ship, they are high up on deck 11 in the midships area. Uh, wonderful restaurants with long cantilevered windows out over the side mm. of the vessel. And uh, the Cunard White Star service that we pride ourselves in offering really comes into its own in these restaurants. Also, the uh, guests in our Queen's Grill and Princess Grill suites will have the courtyard so they can dine al fresco if they wish. And indeed, they'll have a uh, deck up above to be able to sunbathe on luxurious thick sun lounges and enjoy waiter service. And there'll be a Princess Grill and a Queen's Grill lounge where they can enjoy afternoon tea uh, or uh, indeed a pre-dinner drink. Uh, 